Get ready to rev your engines and experience the thrill of the most stupidly expensive superbikes of 2023. These two-wheeled metallic beasts have been captivating the hearts and minds of men for centuries, but as the years pass and new generations emerge, will the appeal of these modern-day beasts still hold strong? Only time will tell. In a world where the roar of the engine and the wind in your face reign supreme, we're diving headfirst into the realm of ultra manliness and coolness. From sleek designs to unparalleled speed and power, we're taking a deep dive into this year's lineup of stupidly expensive bike rides. Number 10, Ducati Testa Streda NCR Machia Nera Concept, $225,000. Making this 180 horsepower limited edition by producing only a set number of them in another option. Despite the fact that Makia Nera or Blockspot humorously suggests you could leave a trail of burnt pavement behind you while driving it, the Dugati Makia Nera may not be able to compete with the other superbikes in this video in terms of pure speed. But its impressively lightweight construction, weighing 297 pounds, thanks to materials like titanium and carbon fiber, artistic design work by visionary designer Aldo Drudy, and the fact that there are only a few of them available have persuaded most enthusiasts. Number 9. The Dugati Desmo Sedisi D16RR NCR M16 $232,500 NCR began with the Desmo Sedisi D16RR that cost $72,500 and overhauled it to make it faster and more potent. The outcome was the $232,500 NCR Milona 16 Road Missile. What happens to the money? The M16 is entirely made of carbon fiber, including the load-bearing components such as the frame, swing arm, and wheels. Carbon is also used to make up the fuel tank, fairing, tail, and fenders. Even the bolts are made of titanium or avionic-grade aluminum for mechanical components. The 989cc V4 Ducati engine stock output is about 175 horsepower, but NCR has tweaked the M16 to deliver 200 plus HP to the pavement. This stupidly expensive superbike also employs race-style electronics with traction control, data recording, and user-selectable maps. Current generation MotoGP suspension aids in putting that power down. Number 8. Akasi FETI XX Titanium Series, $300,000 Even though the $300,000 price tag for a large bike was considered outrageous in 2007, many people still thought it was crazy. A 2,409cc billet aluminum engine delivering 228 horsepower to the rear wheel powers the FETI XX. Due to the fact that just 13 FETI XX devices were ever produced, those who were able to buy one are undoubtedly part of an extremely elite group. Number 7. The Dodge Tomahawk V10 Superbike $550,000 You're not alone if you think the Dodge Tomahawk V10 Superbike eerily resembles a four-wheel Dodge squeezed on both sides. It's not just that the Tomahawk V10 Superbike boasts a V10 four-stroke Dodge Viper engine, which has enough power to propel any chassis with more than two wheels and give you the impression that 500 horsepower are dragging you along as they prepare to storm the Bastille. With a theoretical top speed of 400 miles per hour, this Tomahawk is at least capable of hitting 60 miles per hour in around 2.5 seconds. This stupidly expensive superbike, whose parts were specifically made from aluminum blocks, will undoubtedly capture everyone's attention in any showroom. Number 6. Harley-Davidson Cosmic Starship $1.5 million It's currently listed for sale at $12 million, despite allegedly having been sold for $3.5 million. For their Cosmic Starship, they collaborated with renowned rebel cosmic existentialist artist Jack Armstrong to paint a Harley V-Rod in yellow and red. With considerable hype, they initially sold it for a flat $1 million. Machine and art both went out and were priced with the combination in mind. There's really no reason to object to the cost when you take into account that some of Armstrong's works sell for $3 million or more. Number 5. BMS Nemesis $3 million the yellow glitter and lack of a side stand on the BMS Nemesis are the first things you would notice about it, giving it the appearance that it is marooned on its underbelly. You start to wonder if this stupidly expensive superbike would even stand up. In reality, 
it would start since it has a fully functional air ride system and a single-sided swing arm, rear suspension that allows the motorcycle to be raised 10 inches off the ground or lowered to the ground. For those who are interested in the yellow glitter, it is 24 karat gold. This clearly justifies the $3 million price tag and everyone would certainly understand if you didn't want to let it leave your home once you bought it. Number 4. Hildebrand and Wolfmuller – $3.5 million History is pricey, but at $3.5 million, your purchase would take you back to 1894. Be prepared to run and hop with this vintage one without a clutch or pedal if you manage to get your hands on it and want to see how it behaves on the road while practically driving through history. Yet, if you place such a big investment at risk, your loved ones, financial advisor, or friends would probably just haul you and your bike to safety like a crazy person, which you are. Number 3. Ecosse ES1 Spirit – $3.6 million You can tell something is wrong with a bike when a manufacturer asks even a professional driver to complete a two-week training program before attempting to ride one of their models. Why not? In fact, since there's no discernible chassis framework, this stupidly expensive superbike with over 200 horsepower does not meet the standard definition of a two-wheel machine. The ES1 Spirit can perform like a true F1 car, as intended by its two British and American engineers. Number 2. 1949 E90 AJS Porcupine – $7 million AJS, a bike manufacturer with a distinguished past and a winning track record, was only able to construct four Porcupine units in 1949 due to early financial difficulties. In the end, Les Graham's highly good coaching helped one of these athletes win the 1949 World Championship. Any bike expert might learn a lot from the design and manufacturing choices made by AJS. And the most stupidly expensive superbike is the Neyman Marcus Limited Edition Fighter at $11 million. Given that the Neyman Marcus Limited Edition Fighter debuted on the market for an outrageous $110,000, whoever foresaw that it would subsequently take the top spot on any top 10 list of superbikes is certainly a soothsayer of the highest kind. The superbike's striking chassis, which was fashioned from a single piece of metal, was a huge hit with fans. As it turned out, Apple also adopted the same strategy at the time for its new laptop case. According to many design professionals, this is styling at its finest, and it simply took the critics off their feet when they first saw it. There are currently just 45 of this fighter available for purchase. The name in Marcus Limited Edition Fighter, with its $11 million price tag and intimidating appearance, manages the road at a top speed of 190 miles per hour, thanks to a 120 CI 45 degree air cooled V twin engine and body made of titanium, aluminum, and carbon fiber. If you like these bikes, you should also check out this next video about supercars with even more horsepower. You'll be blown away about the crazy cars you'll see in that video. Don't forget to subscribe for more such stupidly expensive things from around the world and do hit that bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our important video updates. So like and subscribe to the channel because that's not expensive.